we have partners, they come to us, they say we want to build augmented reality, but we don't know how. Um, so I have to sort of develop the project and design the experience in a way that it's as cool as possible, but also being technologically feasible, you know? So they say, we want to have a bunch of dinosaurs. And I go, okay, how many dinosaurs, what's your budget? We can do 20 dinosaurs, 10 dinosaurs. Um, how is exactly, how is it going to happen? There's all kinds of different augmented reality. The hardcore traditional AR is taking something digital and gluing it to something physical. So I hold up your notebook to a camera and that camera tracks the black rectangle and then places content on it. And so it's really just stop motion video. Because as I move this, the camera's tracking that motion and then just changing where the 3D model is dynamically in time. Okay. It's cool. Um, but you also have a different kind of AR, like Layer and Junio and Yelp, where you hold up the phone and you see GPS stuff around you. That's, you know, it, it is still augmented reality. It's information from the internet laid over reality, but it's not fixed to a physical object. If you go into any Lego store in the world, um, there's this big yellow box with a monitor in it, and you see yourself in the video camera. But if you grab a box off the shelf, any Lego box, and hold it up to the camera, you see the 3D model of what's inside the box build itself. So you can visualize what you're going to buy before you buy it. And uh, Lego actually saw, that, I mean, they started in two stores, and now they're worldwide. So it kind of shows you that the kid could see that the model was really, really cool, so asked mom to buy the bigger one. No, that is, that's, that, is, <laughs> that is pretty cool.